Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. In today's video, we'll look at another very useful and scalable mod, but this one's called the Vanguard Systems VODL, which is a bloody massive ore detector, which is this thing you see sitting right behind me. So this thing can detect ore up to 8,000 meters away, and like the other mods of Shuriki's recently, will scale their power usage appropriately. Yes, yeah, so this is what we get, it's a massive glass dome with a green ball in the middle. The green will change to red when you turn it off, so you can always see at a glance whether it's on or off. And it does come with a little base right here, so you will have to build it into the ground if you want to do that. Make sure it's nice and flush with the rest of your building or ship. So once you've added this in through the mod menu, all you got to do is come to the G menu and find it inside here. So we simply come over to VS Utility, there it is right there. And as you can see, it's not too bad at the end of the day, it's just a much more expensive ore detector. But the only real problematic part on this is going to be the detector components, where you need 200 of them. Everything else is very simple to get, but as you can see up to here, there is only a large block version. There is a small block version on the way, it's currently work in progress, so you see that eventually. Yes, what we're going to do now is grab hold my character, come all the way around over this very convenient chair, hop inside, open up the control panel, and well, here we are. So the VS Ore Detector, as you can see, has got the bar down here to control the range, where we can go down to 1 meter, and then like I said, all the way up to 8,000. We're coming out of here, bringing up the HUD, the only thing in the distance which is going to show up is some silver 3.96 kilometers away. There's absolutely nothing else around here, which is very disappointing. In fact, I thought this could be a lot more, but no, that's all there is in this area, and that's all it can detect. Coming back into here and coming all the way down, we can make it so it uses the antenna to actually broadcast the ore in your area, or if you don't have an antenna or don't want to use one, you simply untick that, then when you sit into a seed, it'll just show up on your HUD. Anyway, yes, we're going to turn that off. There we go, so there is now the red ball on the inside. Then once again, turning it on. And there we are, turning it on and off. There we go. Now pushing the camera all the way through, so we actually see the ball inside here. That's all it is. So we've got some strips along the top, very shiny bottom. And into the base, anything going on inside here. Not too much, but there is something going on inside here. We've got the bottom of the glass dome that encases the ball. So there is that. We wouldn't normally be able to see that, despite looking like it would be windows on the outside. No, it's been very well hidden inside. And yes, for the base on the outside. There we are. And of course, the actual main base of the thing is going to be the square down below here. There is no connection points underneath it, so all I've done is slapped on the reactor, give it a nice bit of power. There we are from a distance, going further away, turning it off, turning it on, and there we are. See, as you can see from a very long distance away, whether it's on or off, actually makes a nice little feature to support your base with. Now coming back in here, we're going to talk about the power. So into here, putting it all the way down to one meter, coming over to the large reactor, as you can see, the current output for this whole platform, which is going to be for the chair, the antenna, and the ore detector, is going to be 4.82 kilowatts, which is not too bad. Increasing it all the way up to its maximum, there we are back over to here, we're now at 1.19 megawatts, so it does go up quite a lot, but for what it does, and the sheer range it can handle, that is not bad at the end of the day. And of course, if you don't have power, you can just mediate it by dropping the range a little bit, and there we are, just straight half the cost by halving the range. Anyway, one final thing to do with this thing before I end this video, because it's very short and very sweet, yet very handy mod to have in your list of mods to use in your world, if you want to be incredibly lazy and just see all the ore in the surrounding areas. Yes, what I'm going to do now is grab hold of a grinder and see if it's got any build states attached onto it. Tiny all the signals. And there we are, we now blow the functionality, where as we see we've got now a cage-like design around this thing, Grab and hold the free camera once again, all the way up to this. Along the base here, which was solid, we now see we've got metal bars coming all the way across. On the base itself, we now got these little cutouts, which look like a polka dot design. Then on the very top here, here's the glass dome and the ball in the middle. Character once again, all the way up to it. Grinding a bit more. There we go, free camera. Now the ball in the middle has disappeared, but we've still got the wire mesh around the outside. Into the middle and looking down. There we are, it's almost like a multi-star pattern lapped on top of each other. And around the base, not too much has changed with that. Back into this. There we are, looking at this again. There are the holes in the ground, and it makes a very nice shadow below here. Then looking at the distance, just a massive wire mesh grid basically. And then finally, this should blow it up. And there we are, with it all gone. Spawning it back into the world. 
like so, and there it is once again all activated and working at maximum capacity. But with that, that's pretty much it for all this thing has to offer. Just sort of the workshop page and saw it was the, another very handy mod to have, and it also had a very unique design with it, with this glass dome with a ball in the middle, and I do just recommend downloading it and checking it out yourself. But if you do want to do that, there will be a link to its description below. I'll be back with another video somewhere soon. Bye bye.